everybody, this is Patrick Altmeyer, and what I want to do is I want to show you how to put a widget on a specific page. I want to delete this one here. I can leave it here, but I don't want it to show on the sidebar. I want to put it on a specific page. This one shows the uh, front page and then the second page widget area. But what we want to do is we want to add it on a specific page. So we're going to, uh, first thing you got to do is you got to install see this is the default widget areas for um, for the uh, theme the default 2012 theme but what we want to do is we want to add right here under widgets there's going to be more sections underneath where you're going to drag your widgets in there so they give you a short code to appear on a certain page so first thing you got to do is go to plugins and then you got to find the uh, posts on pages I mean widgets on pages plugin Okay, widgets on pages install now. It's by Todd Half Halfpenny. So if you get that one, you know it's correct. Activate. Okay, now when you go back to the widget area, you see that there's a bunch of them. The reason why there's ten is because I have already installed and added ten pages. If you were to just activate it now, this is the only one that would show up. Would be this one. And, on, and how you got to 10, what you have to do is you got to go to Settings, Widgets on Pages, and then see how I put a, no, a number of additional sidebars, 10, that's why there's 10. If I put 1, which is the default, well, I mean it shows 2 because it's 1 additional. If I put 0 or blank, this is what it's going to look like when you first install it. You're just going to have Widgets on Page 1, but I'm going to but if you need more, as I showed, you just add more. So we'll go back to settings. Let's say you got 10 different widgets you want to show on 10 different pages. So you're going to add 9 more to give you a total of 10. There you go. It's all done. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, I want to install a bicycle with a random rotating images on my uh, bicycle page, or post, I should say. So we're going to go back to install plugins. I mean uh, widgets, I'm sorry. And now on page one, open it up, and you're going to drag image rotator widget over to that one. See how it gives you the short code to put on the page right here? Don't use the quotes, just what's in between the quotes. Okay, I'm going to call this bicycles. I'm going to have it linear and the fastest, open and in tab new window false and I want to add images to my uh, image rotator widget which I have all right here I'm just gonna drag them see now they're all done okay now see how easy that is so I'm gonna say insert into post and we're all done okay now all my images are here images 41 JPEG so easy that is and you can add or delete them and now I'm going to take this short code, copy it, and before I do that, I'm going to take you to that page, Critical Cycles. You see it's just a blank page. So now I'm going to go here to Posts, All Posts, Critical Cycles, Edit, and using the text, not the visual, so it doesn't screw up the uh, code, you're going to paste it in here, widgets on pages, I'm going to hit update and when I update I should get a rotating image you must add an image in the widget settings, which I did okay, it's saying I have to add widgets on the, wi on the images on the widgets so let's see if I did it right let's go back to widgets Show me that I added 41 images. Oh no, I didn't. Where, where's the other widget at? I must have not done it right. So I got to hit all these. Okay, I see what I did. You got to add them again. I, I uploaded them, but I didn't add them. So you got to just keep checking the ones you want to add. Got to use control. 
or you can use shift. So let me uh, hold it here, hold the shift, go all the way to the bottom, see how it adds them all. Okay, now they're all good. I'm just going to give them a title of images. I really don't care. Full size, insert into post, then I got to hit save. What I didn't do before is I didn't hit save. So now I got 131 images. It probably added a bunch that I didn't need. But now let me recycle it again. So you just got to make sure you do it right. And now you got a nice rotating banner right there inside the images page. Nothing more to do. That was it. It just gives you a link to the image itself. Why they're not rotating, I have no idea. Title, linear, facets. New tab. Linear. Loop, fade. Let me do a loop. And facets, yeah, sure, why not? Save again. Let me refresh. Here we go. Now it's linear. You see it added the second one. It's just going to keep scrolling like this because it's wider on this page. Why it's just rotating the same image, I don't know, but that has to do with the plugin. I got to figure it out. But basically, now you know how to put a widget on a page. Let me add another one. Then I guess you got to add them one at a time. So let me add that one. Okay, that's what you got to do. You got to add them one at a time. I try to add them all at once. Now we have three of them. Now we have four of them. Okay, save. Let me refresh. Okay, here we go. See how nice that looks? Then I can put a bunch of text underneath. So I edit the posts. What I like to do is wrap these in their paragraph so it'll be on its own. And then I'm going to line it center. And then I'm going to put center just before the end paragraph. You don't have to. If I go to the visual mode, it'll knock these out, but I never do. And I'm just going to grab a bunch of text. Uh, let me grab this text right here. Hit paste. Close it out. Hit update. And now when you look at your post, it'll look like this. You see, you can have some nice content underneath with the rotating images of bicycles above. And you may add links to each individual one. So let's say you had an Amazon site, and these are different brands of bicycles. If you click on this, you can go right to Amazon's affiliate site. So it's actually a great tool. And this is a great widget, but unfortunately, they don't give you short codes. So with the help of widgets on pages, it takes care of that part for you. This is Patrick Altmeyer. Thanks for watching.